Hi, and welcome to Internet Law News. Thousands of Australians every year fall victim to online crime, such as scams, hacking, credit card fraud, identity theft, copyright infringement, and child pornography. Today, we'll be looking at the Council of Europe's Convention on Cybercrime and how it helps Australia in its fight against these online crimes. So what is the Convention all about? The Council of Europe's Convention on Cybercrime was the first international treaty on crimes committed via the internet and other computer networks. It was ratified by Australia on the 1st of March 2013 and currently has received 47 ratifications worldwide. The main objective of the Convention is to promote a common criminal policy aiming to protect society against cybercrime by adopting legislation and promoting international cooperation. To achieve the goal of establishing a common criminal policy, there are a range of requirements set out in the Convention that signatories must meet. The first requirement is the criminalisation of offences related to computer systems and data. These offences fall under four main categories. The first is fraud and forgery. The second, child pornography. The third, copyright infringements. And the fourth, violations of network security. The second requirement under the Convention deals with procedural laws. The Convention requires the establishment of domestic procedures for detecting, investigating and prosecuting computer crimes and includes the collecting of electronic evidence. Such measures are designed so as more effective investigations can be achieved. The third requirement of the Convention is the establishment of a rapid and efficient system for international cooperation. Article 23 of the Convention stipulates that parties shall cooperate with each other to the widest extent possible. The Convention on Cybercrime facilitates Australia's ability to provide mutual assistance to state parties and to receive such assistance in return. Under the Convention, Australia participates in a 24-7 global network of high-tech crime points of contact. This allows for speedy assistance between signatory parties. A successful operation against child sex abuse is a perfect illustration of how international cooperation can assist in combating cybercrime. Operation Rescue led to the arrest of nearly 200 suspected pedophiles and rescued 230 children. Operation Rescue began as an investigation undertaken by the Australian Federal Police alone. It then spread to a British investigation. In response, the Federal Police and British Police formed a joint investigation, which involved sharing intelligence with police in Thailand and the discovery of a website publishing child abuse material. It then led to other countries, the Netherlands, the involvement of Europol, Canada, Italy, the United States, New Zealand. People were arrested in Chile, Brazil and France. The Convention on Cybercrime aims to achieve the harmonisation of national laws and enhance the international cooperation when dealing with this global problem. Thank you for tuning in.